Uh, thank you for coming to our last general meeting of the quarter. It is election season, so um, a lot of fun's about to happen. Uh, please do sign in if one of my officers can drop the sign in sheet one last time. Uh, remember to sign in because activity points are a big deal. And the reason being is, is especially if you are a graduating official member, um, the more activity points you have this during this academic year, the greater your discount will be when it comes to our graduation regalia. And we'll be uh, offering more information about that in early spring. So do keep an eye out for it if you are graduating. Um, otherwise, we have a bunch of events and all sorts of applications coming out and we'll be talking about that within the next few slides. And first up, I'm going to have Brandon talk about PwC. Okay, thank you, Jenna. Um, so for those of you who are volunteering as panelists or camp leaders and coordinators, um, I wanna say thank you again for having a great PwC. I don't, I can't imagine it being better than it already was. I feel like uh, we definitely made last year proud uh, and yeah. Uh, so I wanna go briefly over um, how we have our t-shirt fundraiser still going. Um, so uh, it's on Custom Inc. And uh, to purchase a shirt, you can privately Venmo um, our treasurer James at James Z uh, 19, it's $19 and the shipping is gonna be covered by um, Saikai. So um, in, the, in the Venmo, you just include your full name, our mail, PwC, and say PwC fundraiser, and then put your t-shirt size. So um, if you um, buy it, uh, it's equivalent to two activity points for purchasing, and all of the proceeds will be going to support our future uh, lab fairs, uh, our psych, our research conference, and um, of course, our next psychology winter camp. So if you can, um, please support. Thank you. Oh, also, it closes uh, on February 26th at 9 p.m. Yes, and I just want to clarify, so if you're on campus, meaning you come to campus or you live on campus, please do send it to James, that way you don't have, you save money on the shipping costs, but if you are um, trying to buy it for someone that uh, is away from campus, or if someone away from campus is trying to buy it, please do buy it from the website, which is linked in the slides, and if someone could drop the custom ink link in the chat, that'd be great, and Brandon, if you could touch on Arthic as well. Yeah, of course. So um, our psych is our annual psychology undergraduate research conference um, where students in psychology and neuroscience labs have the opportunity to present their research. So um, we are currently looking for committee heads. Um, I believe that the applications for committee heads close tomorrow and um, applications for committee members will be opening up uh, very soon. So uh, if by becoming a committee head, uh, you automatically earn five activity points that are applied during spring quarter. Um, yeah, it says right there that the deadline is tomorrow at midnight. Um, so why apply, you may ask? Well, it looks great on resume slash CV. Um, you'd gain stronger leadership skills, and you'd also be able to network with fellow Psychi members, undergraduate researchers and professors, because um, since this is a research conference, we will be working with um, psychology faculty as well. So yeah, it's just a great opportunity for you all if you want to get more involved with Saikai. And yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Also, um, if you are interested in presenting at, at our Psych as well, um, keep an eye out because uh, emails will be sent out by our committee members early spring to um, start um, getting abstracts ready. Yes, and it's a free concert. So you can not only present for free, then you can attend for free. Uh, so again, do keep an eye out for it from Brandon. And I would like to have Tiffany talk about her Psychi t-shirt design contest. It's been long overdue since we have a Psychi t-shirt. So um, we are opening up a t-shirt design contest. And so this allows you, you creative people, to be able to come up with a design for our upcoming students to wear. Um, the timeline, it opens today. Um, you can see the guidelines of the form, and these slides will be sent out to you as well. And you can um, design up to two shirts, and you will earn an activity point for that. Um, the winner will be able to get a free shirt as well. Um, you can check out the guidelines for more information. And I look forward to seeing all your designs. Thank you, Tiffany. And I would like to have Nancy and Arfisa talk about the mentorship program application. Yes, 
Hello, um, my name is Nancy. I am one of the facilitators for the mentorship program. Um, we are opening up our applications for spring quarter. Um, applications rotate on a quarterly basis, not including summer. Um, what's it called? So if you wanna be part of our program for next quarter, um, you can actually go to this link. I will post it in the chat and you can apply starting today. Um, applications do close Sunday, March 6th. Um, and if you want to know a little bit about like what to expect from the program, this neat flyer here um, gives you some of our expectations as well as requirements for mentees. Um, what's it called? I think my favorite part about this program is that you can choose what exactly you want to be mentored on, whether it's graduate slash professional school or undergrad opportunities, or um, if you're graduating soon, post bachelor careers as well. Um, so yeah, if you have any questions, feel free to chat me um, during the meeting, or you can also send us an email at ucrpsychimentorship at gmail.com, which is on the flyer. Um, and yeah, let us know if you have any questions. Um, I hope many of you sign up. It is open only to official members. Um, if you are a prospective member, you are still welcome to fill out the form. Um, we will just reach out to you um, in future quarters to see if you're an official member yet, and then you're more than welcome to join the program during those rotations. But yeah, thank you. Thank you, Nancy. And speaking of the mentorship program and just uh, Nancy's position as a whole, as long, along with Arthas's, uh, I do want to mention that our chapter leader application is closing this Friday, and we already have one application in. So. If you are interested in facilitating our freshman labor program or our mentorship program, please do check out the guidelines um, and apply by this Friday. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out over Discord, come to office hours on Wednesdays or email us. And now on to elections. So uh, the voting form will be sent out after we um, go through all the videos, but I just wanna mention, so only active official members votes will count, meaning uh, you have to be active by, I think this Thursday, uh, that one might be extended. I take that back. Um, you must be active in order to vote. And so active meaning within this uh, past fall or this quarter. And so, with all these votes, we need at least 50% of all of our active official members to vote plus one in order for the candidates to be officially um, elected. And so without further ado, I'm going to move into our videos. If you want to know whether you are considered active or not, uh, please feel free to message one of the officers. If not, just come by to office hours or email us so that you can check on your activity points. And first up, our candidate for president, Tiffany. Hello everyone, my name is Tiffany Say. I go by she, her, hers, and I'm running to be next year's president. opportunities for professional development and growing individually. Uh, not only have I seen the process of general meetings, workshops, I've also created and hosted our own social events, um, both online and in person. I can bring all those skills to next year. Even as I side for my job at the International Affairs Office, I have worked with diverse individuals. I have created and led many events that provided social interaction and professional development. I still have so many ideas I want to implement, such as perhaps maybe a mentorship program for high school students that will be able to provide leadership opportunities for you all. And the last thing I do want to say is that I care so much about Psychi. I was able to grow so much because of Psychi, and I want to be able to continue fostering that same safe space that we have right now while we are also benefiting for our own professional development. Thank you for listening. Y'all are probably seeing some gray boxes because I had to optimize it for a video clip. Um, I'm hoping that fixes the laggy issue, but if not, uh, y'all will be sent out the video playlist anyways. So feel free to watch it afterwards. 
Yeah, and if everyone can also turn off their cameras, I will turn off my own. That way we can uh, help with the laggy issue. And next, we'll have our vice president candidate, Paris. Hello, I'm Paris Schufeld. I go by she, her, hers, and I am running to be next year's vice president. Hello, Sky High. My name is Paris Schufeld, and I'm running for vice president. I use she, her pronouns, and I'm currently a psychology and education double major with a minor in classical studies. I'm the current secretary of SciPy, which has given me a lot of experience being on board and dabbling in a little bit of everything SciPy does, including organizing and running panels, interacting with a variety of faculty and students, finding a fellow board member, and providing support as needed. Flexibility and reliability are what I'm all about. My goal as vice president is to push SciPy even further. I want us to create more ideas and try even grander ventures. I want to use this opportunity to bring more dreams to fruition, to explore unknown depths, and give you an experience that's going to linger for a lifetime. Together, we can do wonderful things and create a community in SciPy. As Maya Angelou says, the desire to reach the stars is ambitious. The desire to reach hearts is wise. So, SciPy, shall we become ambitious and wise together? And uh, Justin is currently in class. So uh, Justin will be running for secretary. His pronouns are he, him, and his. Hello, my name is Justin Tran. My pronouns are he, him, his. And I'm currently a second year student with a major in psychology and a minor in computer science. In this, I'd like to elaborate on two ideas. First is what I've already gained as a general member of Psych High. Being a part of Psych High has exposed me to a lot of opportunities. Opportunities to both explore the field of psychology and develop professionally. Beyond that, the events I've attended this quarter have shown me that the community here is incredibly supportive, hardworking, and inspiring. And that leads me into my second idea, what my intentions are in running for secretary. I want to be more involved with Psychi because I've seen just how valuable of an organization it is. I want to help facilitate the growth and development of the organization and all of its members, including me. I want to work with the general members, cabinet members, chapter officers, and psychology faculty at UCR so that I can both inspire others but also be inspired by them as well. I want to end this on a pun, so I just wanted to say that I'd be psyched if you voted for me. Thank you for your consideration, and uh, have a nice day. And next we have our candidate for treasurer. Hello everyone, uh, my name is Brandon. Uh, I go by he, him, his, and I'm running to be your next treasurer. Hello, Saikai. My name is Brandon, and I'm running to be your 2022 to 2023 treasurer. I believe I'm a great candidate for this position because of my skills and interest in financing and budgeting. Not many people know this, but I am the current treasurer for another organization, so I understand some of the responsibility that the role entails. Furthermore, I have worked as Saikai's program coordinator. I have worked with our current treasurer in setting up budgets for our psychology winter camp as well as our psych. I assure you, at, if I were to become your next treasurer, I would work hard in creating more fundraisers as well as uh, taking our opinions into consideration. Um, I have some ideas I'd like to implement, one being a Google Sheet with psychology course information as I understand that people in Discord have some questions about that. Um, I've already gotten pushed out of my comfort zone by applying to be a chapter leader and I believe I'm ready for the next step in applying for an officer position. Psychi has really grown to become my family and my goal is to give back to all of my community, uh, sharing the same kindness that everyone has shown to me. Thank you all for your time. And since we don't have a candidate for his story, I'm going to move on to our director of events and outreach candidates. First up is Alyssa. Hi, my name is Alyssa Hames. My pronouns are she, her, and I'm running for the director of events and outreach position. Hi, fellow psych hi members. So my name is Alyssa Hames. My pronouns are she, hers, and I'm a second year psychology major, and I hope to be one of your directors of events and outreach. So a small fact about me is that I, as a mentor, I always have at least one small sensory toy on me. So if you ever need it, just hit me up. I'm here for you. I have been involved in psychiatry since studying at UCR, and I truly love this organization. It's already awarded me so many opportunities to be involved, like being a little flimpy to now actually making this video. I'm a believer in this organization and will always strive to be as active as possible, whether it's the fall lab fair or winter camp. 
both have enabled me to be a better communicator and digital designer and I know the first-hand value of all these events. So outside of Sakai, I'm a team leader in the Brain Exercise Initiative where I plan meetings, tablings, and design cognitive exercises. I also volunteer for Frenemy where I focus more on creating social media posts and volunteering events, some of which would be perfect for Sakai. So regardless of all this campaigning, I hope that every single one of you grows from the programs you are able to participate and put on together. This is a community I truly feel like I belong in, and that feeling is special and something that I hope that I can be able to share with you. So thank you for all your time. And our second candidate for uh, Director of Events and Outreach, Jocelyn. Hi, I'm Jocelyn. My pronouns are she, her, hers, and I'm running to be your other Director of Events and Outreach. I'm a second year psych major running to be your director of events and outreach. I have been a prospective member of SACI since my freshman year, and my favorite experience has been the Chat to O social night and fundraiser where I got to meet and connect with many of you. I believe I'm a great candidate for this position because I have strong coordination, collaboration, and communication skills. In the past, I have volunteered as a freshman high school mentor where I worked in a team to lead and plan many different games and activities for the students. I learned to work effectively in a team and be open to ideas, all skills that I hope to apply in the future when I work with my co-director and the rest of the board to organize events such as the Winter Psychology Camp. My goal is to publicize all Psychi events, and as a digital artist, I want to create and design promotional materials to expand the club so that other psych majors can discover the opportunities that Psychi offers and explore their career interests. Thank you so much for listening, and please vote for me as your director of events and outreach. I believe that is everyone's. Um, sorry, give me one sec. Unoptimized, there we go. Um, so that is everyone's uh, speeches. Again, we are missing a historian, so we will be holding a special election for that early next quarter. Um, if you are interested, please do email us um, and look out for the application in the future. Um, otherwise, if one of my officers can drop the link to vote. Um, so all of y'all, please do vote, especially our active official members. I know some of the videos have been a little quiet, but we will be sending a follow-up email regarding uh, the playlist as well as the voting ballot. So again, please do vote. And that's pretty much it for our general meeting. Um, our social and fundraiser is happening. So uh, our social will begin at eight, or I guess we'll start a bit early. Uh, when the officers get there, we'll basically start the social. Um, again, our fundraiser is at Chatuo and it will end tonight at 10 p.m. So uh, we'll see you there. Uh, if you do need a ride, please meet us by 8 p.m. in front of Orbach. Um, otherwise, I will just see you at Chatuo. And again, all of our events, including our social and fundraiser tonight, can be attended by anyone regardless of your membership status. So if you're an official member, if you're a prospective member, please do uh, come to see us. And otherwise, I'm going to stop recording. So thank you for coming to our last social, our last general meeting.